Well, today is November 24th, which is uh, Thanksgiving Day in Hawaii, 2016. And by popular demand, we are going to show you the Coco Crater Stairs. So this is going to be our video for Thanksgiving. And it is a series of 1,048 stairs to the top of this hill. So we'll be leaving shortly. Okay, so we're getting started here. And Sheila's is just starting out on the beginning of the 1,048 stairs. Got and a we're long way to go, but we'll do it. Lots okay. of people here today. There's quite a few people here today. And as you can see, there's railroad tracks on either side of this. So they're not really stairs. They're actually railroad ties. And they're a little bit more than a regular step apart. So this is the easy part at the bottom. We're just working our way up. Pretty soon we have to go across a, an area where there's a kind of a bridge. And it's a little bit stressful. We'll see how Sheila does on that. I'm taking my time. She says she's taking her time. Lots of views. Lots of views. If you turn around. Okay, we'll show the views in a little while. Okay, here we go. So we've come up a little ways, and you can probably hear some popping in the background. Well, there's a gun range just over to the side here, and there's nothing better to do than on a Thanksgiving day is to let off a few rounds. So that's what that's happening down there. So we'll continue our way on our way up. How are we doing, Sheila? Ah, and as you can see, this is a fairly popular hike. So we still have quite a ways to go to the top. So here we are at a little section where it's actually a bridge on a hill. If you can believe that, it's pretty steep and it's going over a bit of a gully. So there's nothing between the ties. So you have to keep your footing very, very secure on the ties. And Sheila's making her way up there. I'll just zoom in on her. If we can go down this way, I don't know. If you want, I don't want to push you, but if you want to just try one way. <laughs> so we got a few people going across the bridge here. We'll try and give you an idea of what's below us. It's kind of hard to see down through there. But there's a fair gully down there. Okay, Sheila's made it across the bridge. So I've got a I'm about halfway. So I've got to carry on and get the rest of the way across the bridge and then the trail actually gets steeper. Stay tuned. Okay, we're up a little higher. And this is the famous Hanama Bay in the background. And we're gonna pan over to the right here. And you can have a look at Hawaii Kai. And we'll show you how far up we've come. A long ways. Okay, we're still going up. And we're now in a, one of the steeper sections. Sheila's just, she's just going for it. We're going to try and give you an idea how steep this is in a minute. Okay, here's an idea of how steep these stairs actually are. I'm holding the camera level. Sheila's standing up straight and you can see the angle on the stairs. It's almost to the point where she could reach out straight out, her arms straight out and touch the stair or the rails. Oh, we have a it's downward. A grade right there. Oh, thank you. 48% grade we were told. All right, on we go. Okay, we're doing really good. We've just finished the really steep part. There's only maybe what, 100 stairs left? Maybe only 100 to go. Let's have a look. Okay. And if you look closely, you can see the top. Sheila's on the final ascent. Okay. Here we are. We're just coming up to the top of the tramway. Got some old relics up here. I don't mean all the people. I mean the equipment. 
Got a little music going. And this is where the winch station was, where they winched up the trams with all the supplies in them. Okay, we're at the top of the 1,048 stairs on Coco Crater. We've got a little bit further to go. Show you some of the bunkers that are up here. Sheila's gone up through here, so we're going to follow her. Okay, we're on the back side of the, this would be the engine room for the tram. And inside there is a big electric motor with a brake on it. So they actually hauled these trans up with electric motor and I do believe there was a gas engine for backup. On the other side of this little pit where I am, it's going to swing around here, there's a, what I would think must have been the bomb shelter. We just had a young fellow went in here a few minutes ago and he said it goes into the mountain quite a long ways. And uh, so he was uh, going to go and get some friends to go in there with him. So the hike up took us about 45 minutes. We took our time this time. And we're just going up the last little bit here to see what's on the very top. Okay, we're up on the top. This was probably a spot where they had some of the guns. And we're just looking down at Hanama Bay. Whoops. And Coco Head in the background. This is Hawaii Kai. If you look in the background of this picture, you will see Diamond Head. It's a little foggy, Waikiki. And panning around to Hawaii Kai. Uh, elevation is 1270. We're at 1270 feet. And like I said before, it took us about 45 minutes to hike up the tramway. Okay, so we're continuing our video down through Hawaii Kai, swinging around, looking to the south end of Oahu. And it's a little bit windier over on this side, so you're probably hearing a fair amount of wind noise. And this is the Coco Head, Coco Crater. In the background is Sandy Beach. And here's the sides of the crater. So we'll try and give you another little better shot of what the crater looks like. Okay. Here's a view of the inside of the Coco Crater. What you can see in the background is uh, some botanical gardens down there and that's where the crater spilled out I suppose you could say the lava spilled out and we'll just have a look around here looking at the sides across the front and down this other side. It's quite a nice crater got trees in the inside of it. No more lava. Okay, we're still up on the top of the rim of the crater. Just trying to give you a, a view of what we can see from up here. The noise in the background, some of it was wind, some of it was a helicopter just flew over. Here's a little spot here and basically we're coming back around and looking at Hanama Bay and back to Hawaii Kai. Oh, we caught up with Sheila. She's just been relaxing for a little while. Take a break before we head down the stairs. Okay, and now it's time to head back down. And work the knees. And work the knees. So, here we go on the way down. And we're ready to go down and Wayne's in fine form. He looks pretty agile now. Wait till after. And other people are coming up. And here he goes. He's walking down. And if he wouldn't go so fast, I could probably catch up to him because I don't want to slip. And then we're going to... Oh yeah, we're coming, Wayne. Okay. Away you go. Okay. On we go.
Whoa, and that's where we're going. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we made it all the way to the top, did a little tour around the top, and now we're on our way back, heading back to Waikiki. Okay, we've made it down the steep part from the top, and we're back down to the bridge section. And this is where there's nothing between the railroad ties, except space. And Sheila's working her way down here. She's taking it pretty easy. She says she's not taking it easy, she's taking it safe. We might be here for a while. Okay, she's doing good. It's on a roll now. As you can see, there's a few other people coming down here. It's pretty steep. Just the last little bit. Okay, here comes Sheila, the last little bit of the trestle hike. Very good. good. Okay. Carry on. Okay. Here comes Wayne. He figures he's an athlete. He's just going to run the end of the stairs. Here he comes. He's done it again. <laughs> there you are, Wayne. And you that's did it. The Coco Crater Stairs. Yoo-hoo! 2016.